Hello from uh, Abdali Hospital. I'm Dr. Mohamed Al Ghul. I'm a plastic and uh, reconstructive surgeon, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Dr. Hanan Hassan, uh, who's a consultant dermatologist, and we will be discussing uh, melanoma and uh, skin cancer. Uh, hello, Dr. Hanna. So, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, you know um, skin cancer and uh, melanoma detection. Usually, they start as a skin lesion or a mold. Yeah. We all have molds. So, when should we uh, get concerned about them? So if it's changing, um, you should see a doctor and get it checked out. And the changes to look out for are if it's getting bigger, if it's getting darker or lighter, if it's changing its shape, or if it's starting to itch or bleed for no reason. Uh, what other type of uh, skin cancers are there? We also have um, skin cancers such as basal cell cancer or squamous cell cancer, or even rarer ones as well. Okay. Um, and these would start as an area on your skin that is not healing or a lump or bump that is growing. Okay, but melanoma is usually like the more concerning one. Absolutely. Uh, why is that? Uh, melanoma is the one that can affect uh, even young people, and that's always a concern. Okay. And also um, melanoma, if you detect it early, you have a very good result. Um, the later detection of melanoma is a higher risk. So who is at risk for developing skin cancer or melanoma? The um, risk factors include people who are of fairer skin type, particularly um, European origin, uh, people who have a family history of skin cancer, people who have um, had a lot of sun exposure through their life, particularly um, if they have had sunburn in childhood, and um, people who use sunbeds. Okay, so what about Jordanians? Um, um, is the Jordanian skin also prone to develop skin cancer? Yes, absolutely, all Jordanian skins, because we have to remember that there are a lot of Jordanians who have fairer skin type origins. They are of European origin or Levantine origin uh, with fairer skin types. Okay, well someone, uh, let's say I have a mole, I'm going to come to see you in clinic. Uh, take us through a consultation. So first of all, we'll find out what's been happening with that mole, how has it been changing. We'll then have a look at it and we can even use um, this, which is a dermatoscope, okay. um, to assess the pigment pattern, which helps us decide whether this mole needs to come out that day or whether it needs to be photographed and observed. So if it needs to be taken out, can you biopsy it the same day? Yes, I can remove it that day. So what happens next? Let's say it comes back as precancerous or um, malignant. So what do you do? Um, so depending on what it is exactly, um, there may need to be further surgery. Okay. Um, and uh, that's when having a skilled plastic surgeon comes in to help reconstruct uh, the area if more surgery was needed. So it could be um, a few centimeters on the body or anything on the face is cosmetic and needs a plastic surgeon. Do you have any advice about uh, prevention? The most important thing is to be sensible about your sun exposure. So don't go out when it's um, very sunny and very hot. Try and cover up in the sun. Use your sunscreen, Factor 50 is best, with both UVB and UVA protection. And of course, avoid sunbeds. Know your moles. Check your moles regularly so you know where they are, what they look like. If it's on your back or an area you can't see, get a family member to help you. Mm -hmm. um, use your phone to take photos of your moles so you know what they look like and you remember. Um, and if you notice any changes, see your doctor as soon as possible. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rahana. This was uh, very informative. Thank you.